Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy, and today we've got to take this and turn it into this using this. So stay tuned. So that's right, today we are going to be getting started on prepping this thing for paint, which means we've got to take all the tools we've been using and clean them out because it's dusty in there. And when you're dealing with paint and body, you don't want any dust. So we're gonna set the camera up and do a little time lapse. We're gonna clean all the crap out of inside of Dale. Okay, so now that we've got all the cleaning done inside, we will give it a final wipe down with some uh, reducer or something like that, just to get rid of any oils or whatever might be uh, left behind. So first things that we gotta do before we even think about painting or doing any amount of body work is seam sealing. Mostly is just this seam down in here where the rocker panel meets the floor. So by doing that, we're gonna help keep any dirt and moisture from going down in through there uh, but we're also going to do the same keeping the dirt and moisture from coming up through from outside so we're going to do that tonight and then we're going to have to come back in another video and we'll be able to start doing some body fill on these seams get them sanded down get them primed and then get a coat of color matched paint on this truck so so let's get out that seam sealer we'll get these seams all sealed up and then we can come back tomorrow night and start doing some body work. Okay, so we've got our seam sealer here. Now, it's just like caulking a bathtub. We're gonna go up along this seam right here, come all the way down and right up as far as it meets the old seam sealer up in here. I'm wearing a glove, call it what you may. This stuff is pretty gross stuff to be getting on your hands, so I'm gonna to choose to wear a glove on this hand while we're uh, while we're sealing this up, and that way I don't have to worry about getting this on my good work clothes. All right, let's start caulking. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So now we're gonna take our finger and just kind of create what seems to be a uniform smush, if that's what you want to call it. So far it seems to be smushing really, really good. Almost like the factory does it. I'm even using my middle finger. Just like that. And now we'll go over to the other side. And do the same thing. That's it. Dang it. Now I'm gonna have to come back and do this again tomorrow and wait for it to set up. But not that big of a deal because we're going to be working on one side first and then the other. So I'll get a new tube of seam sealer. We'll come back and finish this side tomorrow. So it is the next day. We did get our new tube of seam sealer. I came here at lunchtime and I finished off the driver's side seam sealing as well as got in around the edges of the cab corner. So tonight what we're going to be doing is applying the first coat of Bondo uh, or body filler, whatever you want to call it, and uh, getting that coat on there. And once it sets up, we'll be able to come back and kind of sand it down and get that first form to see where our high and our low spots are and see what else we've got to work with. So let's mix up some body fill and get that laid down on the passenger side. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start at the fender, just kind of work our way back. And like I said, we'll probably have to mix this up two or three times to get what we're going to be needing. And I'm just going to gob it on there. 
probably worth noting that uh, you want to make sure that your surface that you're uh, applying to is good and clean. And I've wiped all this down with some, uh, just some reducer for the sake of making sure that uh, everything is good. Now I'm going to put it on here quite liberally because most of this, we're going to take the, uh, what my buddy Jerry from Lakeside Auto Body calls the cheese grater and we'll cheese grate the, the rough stuff off here. Now I'll, again, I'm putting it on thick but most of the stuff is actually going to be coming off. And you see how much I mixed up and all I did was this one section here and that's as far as it got me. So I'm going to mix up another batch. We're going to carry on with the uh, rockers on this end as well as this and the cab corner. So uh, no sense in you watch me do the same thing over and over again. Well, in real time anyways, let's put it to some music. Okay, so it is the next night, which is Wednesday, I believe. We've hit all this with 80 grit. We've got it smoothed out pretty good. We are now going to check it over and see how many picks and, and uh, holes that we have in our body fill and touch those up if needed. And then we're gonna get some primer on it just to take a look and see how smooth it is under primer. And then we'll decide how far we're gonna go from there. We might get to a point where we're going to fine sand the primer a little bit, but we are going to have to get things taped off, cleaned up, and ready to spray. So let's get into it. We'll take a look and uh, see where we're going to go from there. So with my big light here, I've gone around and looked for holes and picks in the sanding work. And up front here, I do see one little one right there. And uh, the rest of it actually looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I might sand a little bit more on that to see if we can get rid of it because I don't wanna to have to dig out the Bondo just for that one little pick. So we'll see if we can't maybe feather that out a little bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna take the uh, masking tape. I'm gonna mask off all the areas that we're not gonna spray. And uh, then we can kind of get some primer going and get things scuffed up and ready for some actual paint here. So. I think we'll do that uh, right now and uh, we'll be right back with you. So we've got this taped up because we don't want any overspray going on to that second color. Uh, inside the door jams is the uh, buckskin color that we're going to be using down here. So the rockers. Uh, we've got a piece of tape here. Um, I think I can keep the spray down to a minimum. It doesn't really matter if it blends into that anyways. And then over here, we're just going to kind of blend that up into the existing color. But here, we certainly don't want it going up further into the uh, other color. Round back, it really doesn't matter. I can just kind of spray up as far as I need to. But for now, we're going to get some primer sprayed on there. I should put something over the tire as well, I guess. Uh, for now, we're going to get some primer sprayed on there. we got to finish scuffing up this rocker, and uh, then we'll be uh, good to go. So let's do that. So we'll just wait for that to flash up. I can already see a couple of new picks coming through. So we might end up having to mix up and skim one more coat onto this 
before we're actually ready for paint. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap metal that came from these patch panels. We're gonna scuff it up, prime it, and paint it the same color as a truck, and we'll compare it and see how close we are. So we found an old scrap piece of what was the cab corner uh, on this side, I believe, and we got it sprayed with uh, some primer and one light coat and probably three pretty good coats of the actual buckskin color uh, to this truck. And I think the color matches pretty good. Let's take a look. This is kind of comparing it against the hood, which is a little bit dull and it's got some scratches on it. But nevertheless, I think it is right along the same color palette. It might be half a shade off or something like that. But the color is going to be down low on the truck, casting a reflection off the ground, which is generally a little bit darker. So I think once we get it on, it's going to match up really, really good. Tell me down in the comment section below what you guys think of the color match for the new paint on Old Dale. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little bit more Bondo and we're going to give that a skim coat. We'll be able to uh, sand that down a little bit better and hopefully those will be filled in to the point where maybe even tonight we might get a couple of coats of paint of that buckskin color on these rocker panels and get them finished up. Then we can call this side done and then on the weekend we'll get over on the driver's side and do the same thing over there. Then we finally can call the bodywork 100% done. The last thing that we'll have to do to pretty this thing up is figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the paint. Am I going to distress it? Am I going to create patina? Am I, am I just going to buff it out the way it is? Again, you guys let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do. Should I patina this truck? Should I take advantage of the original paint and try and bring it back with all of its scratches and, and dents and bruises and everything it's got? Anyways, I want to hear from you guys personally. No, I won't tell you what I think because I don't want to sway your guys' decision. Anyways, I'm going to mix up some more Bondo. We'll get these little picks filled in here and uh, we'll come back after we get it all sanded out. I think we are ready to spray some color on this side of the truck. I don't know if I should be doing it this soon, but I'm excited and I want to see some color on it. So, cue the music and let's get to spraying. So once again, guys, my audio died, but here I am just showing you a finished coat of the buckskin color on this truck and then I'm going to lead into right now telling you that this is the end of the video. It's been a little bit of a long one and I'm not going to show you the other side, not until the full truck is done because you've seen it all before. This is where I tell you about the Car Guy and Six Fan Show happening on my channel this Thursday and we have a special guest, somebody who is very, very knowledgeable on these things right here. You're not going to want to miss it. Very special guest, Car Guy and Six Fan, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, and 9 local time. Thank you for sticking around while I work on this project. Like I said, the video this time was a little bit longer. This will be the last video in the series of the bodywork on Dale. Next video, we're jumping in to the suspension, which is what I have and I know you have uh, been waiting for. So tune in next time. It will be Tuesday's upload for the suspension. We're going to start on that. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. We'll see you in Tuesday's upload. Acting like you're into me I know this is hopeless Moving in slow motion